The legend Jay Cutler may have stepped away from bodybuilding, but he remains committed to seeing the sport evolve. A lot of great things to say about Classic Physique Olympia champion Chris Bumstead. Let's hear what he had to say now. Chris Bumstead Chris Bumstead is an IFBB Classic Physique professional bodybuilder and sponsored athlete from Canada. He is the current Classic Physique Olympia champion for years 2019, 2020 and 2021. He was the runner-up at the same competition in 2017 and 2018 to Breon Ansley, which was definitely frustrating for him. However, he brought an amazing package in 2019, which earned him the first place trophy at the biggest competition in the world. His 2019 Olympia win was impressive, considering he had hernia surgery months out from the show. As a kid, he looked up to the legendary Tom Platts because of his iconic leg development. He also cited Barry DeMay, 80s bodybuilder, as one of his inspirations and, of course, the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bumstead built the base of his physique training for sports that he was involved with in high school, such as football, basketball, and ran track and field. He was introduced to bodybuilding through his sister's husband, Ian Valliere, who is also an IFBB professional bodybuilder. As of right now, there's no telling what the future of the classic physique division will look like, but Bumstead is likely not looking to give up his crown anytime soon. Jay Cutler's thoughts on Chris Bumstead's chances in Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler has been out of the sport for many years now, but he's still hugely recognized and a prominent figure in bodybuilding. Apparently, the four-time Mr. Olympia has gone on record saying he thinks two-time reigning classic physique Olympia winner Chris Bumstead could win Mr. Olympia Open title one day. Jay Cutler recently spoke with Dave Palumbo of RX Muscle where they discussed a range of topics a day out from the start of Olympia Weekend 2021. There's lots of excitement ahead of the most prestigious bodybuilding and fitness show, and who better to hear from than the legend himself? Palumbo brought up the topic of which Cutler wanted to elaborate, as he said his message was a little misconstrued. Cutler also acknowledged the fact that Bumstead's known to have some health issues, and many have pointed that out to him. But Jay also mentioned that Chris has been competing just fine at the top level, and considering how good he looks right now, whatever the health problems are, they can't be holding him back too much. Cutler again elaborated on what he meant, and it wasn't that Bumstead could compete against guys like current Mr. Olympia Big Ramey, top contender William Bonack, and these top guys right now, but rather, whoever is competing in men's bodybuilding several years from now. Chris Bumstead is only 26 years old and could compete until he's well into his 40s like a lot of competitors do. The sky is certainly the limit at this point, and it makes sense when Jay said Chris could grow into an open bodybuilder. Cutler praised Chris as he is right now, saying, He's in the position to win his third title. I think the pictures tell it all. I think the confidence is there. I think he's the ultimate body for the division. But he didn't ignore the fact that there are some really dangerous guys in the division who could be fighting for top spots too. Olympia Payout – Mr. Olympia vs. Classic Physique it's no secret that the top open division competitors, especially the Mr. Olympia winner, get the highest payout. The gap is pretty significant compared to other divisions too. To give you an idea, Big Ramey in men's bodybuilding took home $400,000, while Chris Bumstead in Classic only received $30,000 for his win in 2020. Not to mention runner-up to Big Ramey Brandon Curry, 2019 Mr. Olympia, made $150,000 and third place Phil Heath, a seven times Mr. Olympia champion, earned $100,000. This year, there's going to be $1.6 million in prize money awarded to the athletes, the highest payout in the event's history, although we don't have the details of how it will be distributed among the many divisions competing. Dave was curious what young Jay would do if he was a classic competitor and knowing how big the difference in prize money is between the Open Champ and Classic Champ. Jay's response was, you know what the kid's making some bank on the outside, you know there's no question, and that's what you keep thriving on. Cutler believes it's never about how much you win in a contest. He recalled never taking home $400,000 like Phil Heath because the biggest payout when he was champ was $200,000. But he was okay with that because of all his endorsements, guest appearances, etc. that were bringing in the money. Well, the same is true for Chris Bumstead. Jay brought up a good point in that Chris is indeed a pioneer in classic physique, and that's what he's likely focused on, paving the way for the division and creating something bigger than, well, a big paycheck. After Cutler's comments, would Chris Bumstead compete in open bodybuilding? Coincidentally enough, Bumstead recently talked about whether or not he'd consider competing in the open division. During the offseason, Bumstead has been bulking up and recently revealed that his body weight was sitting at a sturdy 
264 pounds. This added fuel to the fire of people saying that he could be successful to some degree should he choose to move to the open division. However, speaking in a recent interview, he continued to shoot down the idea of making this type of change. While he says that he has thought about dabbling in this other division, he says that between his health problems and not having anything to gain, it will likely never happen. Classic Physique Olympia champ Chris Bumstead has a well-rounded physique that is getting bigger and better every year. That said, he has no interest in moving to the men's open division no matter how much fans call for it. With that in mind, Chris Bumstead is focused on continuing his run of dominance in the Classic Physique division. The next stop to that, of course, comes with the 2021 Mr. Olympia, where he looks to score his third consecutive title. As far as his strategy for this year goes, Chris is largely keeping things the same as last year, which makes sense given his perfect score. That said, he is working to improve and bring up his weaknesses as well, hence his bulking phase during the offseason. Jay Cutler's Opinion on Open Division Bodybuilding There has been a lot of back-and-forth conversation about the modern era of bodybuilding and what the future holds. This is specifically focused on the men's open division. Many, including some legends, have stated that today's bodybuilders could not hold up to the 90s era or earlier. During an interview between Jay Cutler and Generation Iron, Cutler discusses how the level of competition has fallen due to the expansion of other divisions. Jay Cutler is honest about his opinions, but also very logical when it comes comparing eras of bodybuilders. First and foremost, Jay Cutler believes that the growth of bodybuilding as a whole has been good for the sport. With more divisions, there are more athletes who can find success in their passions. They are no longer limited by height or genetic deficiencies. Anyone who wants to work hard can find a division where they fit and hopefully succeed. That being said, Jay Cutler also believes that this has had a negative effect on the men's open division specifically. Cutler is a four times Mr. Olympia champion, and while he has respect for the other divisions, he will always be a men's open man first. Looking at the modern era of bodybuilding, he can't help but feel that the depth of the competition is lacking. There will always be exceptions. Bodybuilders who reign supreme with an amazing physique. But when he looks back at the 90s or earlier, he found that it was less of a given who would win at any show. That's how excellent the level of competition was back then. Today, Jay Cutler sees that less often. He believes this is directly due to the expansion of other divisions. Now athletes have more options in where they want to fit in. This leads to less competitors pushing themselves to the limit to succeed in the men's open category. All in all, it seems Jay Cutler isn't painting this as a bad thing. Instead, it's just different. Cutler is from a specific era, and it's one he's fond of by living through it. That doesn't mean that today's bodybuilding with more divisions and perhaps less depth than men's open is worse. It's just a new version. That's all for today's video. We'll see you next time.